Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to install Windows Admin Center on Windows Server 2025 Core Edition. Windows Admin Center is a web-based management tool developed by Microsoft to help system administrators manage, monitor and troubleshoot Windows servers and Windows client systems. It provides a centralized platform for managing both local and remote machines without requiring traditional tools like remote desktop or PowerShell. To install Windows Admin Center on a core server, you must first download the setup file. You can download Windows Admin Center from Microsoft's website at aka.ms/wsc/download. For this demo, we will be using my home lab which is configured on Windows Server 2025 Hyper-V. We have installed and configured Windows Server 2025 Core in a Hyper-V virtual machine. We have a Windows 11 Enterprise client on the same network as the Hyper-V host. Let's start with Windows Server 2025 Core VM. The hostname of this server is ws2k25-core01 and it is part of a workgroup. From the main menu, type 8 and press enter to enter the network settings page. Type 3 and press enter. We have assigned the static IP address 172.18.72.21 to this server. Press enter to go back to the main menu. Type 15 and press enter to exit as config and switch to PowerShell. Let's use the start-bits transfer PowerShell CMD delete to download the Windows Admin Center installation file. Type the command start hyphen bits transfer hyphen source https colon double slash aka dot ms slash wsc download hyphen destination wsc dot exe. Press enter to start downloading the Windows Admin Center setup file to our system. Wait for the download to complete. Type the command ls and press enter. We should now see the Windows Admin Center setup file listed as wsc dot exe. To install Windows Admin Center, run the command start-process-filepath-wsc.exe-argument-list-slash-very-silent-wait and press enter. The installation process may take some time to finish, so please wait until it completes. It will take around 2-3 to three minutes to complete. Finally, the installation is completed. Type the command get-service-windows-admin-center and press enter. Verify that the Windows Admin Center service is running. If it's not, start the service using the command start service Windows Admin Center. Windows Admin Center has been successfully installed on this server core. Let's move on to our Windows 11 VM. Open the Microsoft Edge web browser. Tap the URL https colon double slash 172.18.72.21 and press enter. Here, 172.18.72.21 is the IP address of the server core machine. Since we are using a self-signed certificate, a warning about the certificate may appear. Click on Advanced and click on Continue to 172.18.72.21. Enter the local administrator username and password at the sign-in prompt. If everything is set up correctly, you will see the Windows Admin Center page loading. Once Windows Admin Center has been installed, it is updated automatically using its internal updating mechanism and Windows Update. Wait for the extension catalog update process to complete. Once all the extensions are successfully updated, click OK to reload the Windows Admin Center web interface. I forgot to mention that the self-signed certificate is valid only for 60 days from the installation. After that, it will need to be renewed or replaced with a trusted certificate. On the main page, you will see the server that is hosting the Windows Admin Center. In Gateway Mode, Windows Admin Center is installed on a supported Windows Server version and can be accessed remotely from a client browser on a different machine. To select a server to manage, click on the Windows Server in the list. Once selected, Windows Admin Center will present you with a dashboard of your server. We can view the overview information about the server, including the hostname, OS version, installed RAM, processors, and the disk details. Under the monitoring section, 
you can view the cpu memory and network usage of the server which is similar to the task manager view click on edit computer id on the dashboard the computer id is how windows admin center defines common properties such as the host name and domain membership from here you can join this server to the active directory domain click on cancel and look at rules and features section click on rules and features expand file and storage services expand file and iSCSI services and for example let's install file server rule on this server select the checkbox in front of file server and then click on install first it will calculate the dependencies or other services or features which are required by this service select the checkbox reboot the server automatically if required and then click yes to continue with the installation Let's wait for the installation process to complete. We can check the state of file server rule. It is installed. So we can confirm that we have successfully installed file server rule on server core computer using Windows Admin Center. Let's check the status of updates. Click on updates. It's currently checking for available updates for Windows Server 2025 core computer. Two updates are available to install on this Windows Server 2025 core. Select both updates and click on the install update button to download and install the selected updates on this server. Now you can remotely manage your Windows Server 2025 core from Windows Admin Center just as you would manage your server from the server manager dashboard. That's all for this video on how to install Windows Admin Center on Windows Server 2025 core edition. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.